everyone. Welcome to a new episode from Ampro Engineering. In this episode, I wanted to announce something very important. A number of my products, for example, the Bronco interior here, a new product, this chassis to create a more scale lunchbox and a variety of other products that I've got, including the complete suspension system for the Hornet are now also going to be available at my mini factory. What I wanted to talk about very quickly in this video is the pros and cons of going down that path. Okay, we'll, we'll focus on the Bronco because that was the deciding factor on why to use my mini factory. The interior kit on the Bronco through Shapeways is insanely overpriced. And unfortunately, that is simply a result of the costs of 3D printing. You have an entire interior bucket that spans three quarters the length of the car, which in itself costs $275 to print. Now I get a ton of guff about that and I'm very sorry that's just what Shapeways charges. I have almost no markup on this interior set because I can't. How can I mark up something that costs $575. That's ludicrous. I mean, the truck doesn't cost that. So a lot of people have asked, you know, can't we just print this on our own home printers? And the answer maybe is yes. And the reason why I say that is this is a large part. You know, you're talking about uh, 14 inches longer, if not more. And it's possible that your home printer doesn't have the print bed that large to do this. So what you'd have to do is break the part up into smaller pieces, perhaps print the back and then the front, and then you should be good to go. There are side panels on both sides of this interior, which can be printed laying flat so that in the Z direction, it will allow a very fine detail to be laid down. Parts like the roll bar here, the silver portion, will be fantastic printed in the FDM or filament printer. But I also wanted to mention a couple other things like detail. So this interior set, if anybody's not familiar with it, is quite extremely detailed. And the problem with that is a lot of these FDM printers or these very inexpensive printers like the MakerBots, while excellent for larger applications like the main interior bucket and the roll bar and maybe the steering wheel, maybe the dash, are not going to do well with details like the instrument cluster that has wall thicknesses for the numbers of 0.25 millimeters. I mean, these are my, really, really tiny details. The stereo knobs are tiny, even the uh, air conditioning vents have details in there under 0.5 millimeters. So it's gonna be very, very difficult to get those details. And I just want to stress to you that if you purchase the print files for this and print them on your home printer, you may not have the desired results simply because of the capabilities of your printer. The reason I was able to get these results is using the ultra detailed plastic option from Shapeways. Now the downside of that is Shapeways has recently increased their price on that print and that's very unfortunate. So I just want to stress that there are details on this dash that you may still have to purchase from Shapeways just to get that desired result. And all these little details are specified on the My Mini Factory page where the product is. Now with that said, parts like the bumper, these are very, very big chunky pieces and these should come out beautiful on an FDM printer. Fine, you know, you're gonna get some texture in there that you might not like, but a good couple coats with an automotive filler primer or some sanding and they're gonna look this good. I mean, for that, it's fantastic. Even the wheels, the wheels are gonna require a little bit of tidying up, but I think you can get a pretty decent detail on the wheels on my mini factory, even using a basic FDM printer versus using Shapeways where these rims might cost 80 or $90. So that's, that's why I've decided to go down that path. Speaking of some more of the benefits, certain parts, and I'm just using the Hornet as an example, but like the front bumper, the suspension components, even the battery door and the pivot mount back here will work fairly well on an FDM printer because FDM, doesn't always have to be, but you can use genuine ABS plastic, which is what the chassis is made out of, which means you're going to get a more flexible material than the nylon, which Shapeways offers, though incredibly rigid, can be more brittle than ABS plastic. We'll also have the chassis for the lunchbox, as well as the front and rear fascia and bumpers for the for this Dodge van body. Again, for the case of this Dodge van, you can see some of the details in the grill. Those grill slots are 0.7 millimeters high and the horizontal bars are 0.6 so they're very 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 thin you are also going to have separate clear pieces again these can be purchased separately from shapeways 
but when I uploaded this front grille and back bumper to Shapeways, I was absolutely blown away. that This is almost a $60 part, and it didn't used to be that much. I mean, I think I only paid maybe $30 for this, but they have increased their prices, so that's very unfortunate. This can be printed beautifully on a resin-based printer. Form Labs is one of the companies that does produce those. The chassis is, again, a very, very large part. It does span the entire length of the lunchbox body. And this chassis is one of those parts that will work incredibly well in ABS plastic or uh, being used on an FDM printer. It's, it's very robust. It has some minor details there, but... You know, they don't have to be perfect because, again, it's just the chassis. The wheels are fairly small with some tight details, so I don't know how well these would work on an FDM, but if you do have access to a Form Labs printer, these would be fantastic on there. Now, I could spend five hours going over all the different products that I'm going to have on there, and if you do come across one of my products that you're interested that is not currently there, please let me know. Again, with a lot of these things, I will have little notes voicing my concerns because the last thing I want you to do is purchase this interior set and have it print out like garbage simply because it wasn't intended to be printed in FDM. I do hope that adding my products to my manufacturer is going to be very beneficial for the majority of you out there. And everything will still remain on Shapeways for those of you that do want to get some of the parts on Shapeways. I am a massive promoter of Shapeway simply because I don't want to deal with printers, but I completely concur that some of the prices on there for their detail products like these grills, in fact, their larger SLS plastics can be ridiculous. So I totally get that. Well, folks, thank you all so much for watching and we will see you next time.